Hi everyone, this is Maud again, and welcome to your restorative yoga practice. In this yoga practice, in this restorative practice, we are actually going to be using the bolster a lot. So if you have a long pillow, a thick pillow, a big thing, please go ahead and grab it. Um, I also have with me my two blankets. I mean, it's not necessarily something that will be required during the practice, but feel free to grab them if you have them. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get started with just the bolster. I'm going to set up the bolster so that it's kind of on its tall side like this. And if you have blocks, you can definitely place the blocks on its flatter side or the second height um, kind of behind the bolster. And what you want to do is to place your knees behind the knees on the bolster. And then you're going to just let your feet kind of lightly touch or tap these blocks. So how I get to it is usually this. And then let's start to lie down. And then just get the fidgets out of the way. Get the wiggles out of the way. You can open your palms up to the side. You can also have your hands on the belly. But it's very important in the start of practice, at the start of any restorative yoga practice, to really get the body in a gentle place to find restoration and rejuvenation in your energy, like right here, right now. So maybe the eyes are closed. Maybe the eyelids are just heavy. And wherever your hands are, just make sure that your fingers are not grabbing anything, you're not gripping any objects. Once the physical body feels settled, let's take a couple of uh, cleansing breaths. Let's inhale all the way in through the nose. And then exhale all the way out through the mouth. Inhale all the way in. Exhale out through the mouth. One last time, just like that. Inhale in. Exhale it all out. And now even with just three breaths, feel the difference in your body. Feel the difference in the way you yield to that sort of gentle energy, that gentler place, and just let it get there. Let your body get there. Let your breath get there. And let your mind get there as well. I won't be talking a whole lot in this practice because I really want you guys to tap into your energy, to tap into that space in your mind, your breath, your heart, your spirituality, Anything that really dictates the amount of stress, the amount of reaction that you have. To just kind of, instead of shutting it down, just sort of set it aside. And trying to get rid of the noise. And I want you guys to listen to your inner peaceful voice. Letting the breath be effortless. Slowly wiggle the toes, wiggle your hands. 
And deeply bend those legs. And with those heels, drag your pillow towards you, maybe so that you can reach towards it. And place it on the right side of the body. We're going to lie on our right side as well, and then drape and place our left leg on top of the bolster. And this right arm can be bent. You can straighten it. But let's start here with an open chested twist. So send your left arm behind you. And wherever that knee meets your bolster, just let it hang. And again, drawing in some gentler energy. Enjoying the silence, or even if you have some noise or some music, whatever it is that it's in your ambiance, just make sure that you retain this gentler space, this softer place. As you feel the rise and fall of the belly, also feel the expansion of the rib cage. Notice if any of the muscles feel less compressed, stressed, or stagnant. Keeping the left leg where it is, we're just going to curl the body into the right side. Just going to roll it. And maybe this right arm could be a pillow underneath the head. You can also grab a pillow, place it underneath the head. Whether your stressors are physical or mental or emotional, whatever those stressors may be. And like I said earlier, just set them aside. And right now you just prioritize your inner peaceful moments right here. And you're neither asleep or frenzied. You're in this space where you're still very much awake, and very much aware. But you just want your body in a more restful state. Slowly roll onto your backs. Grab your pillow or your bolster and place it on the other side of the body, perhaps your left side now, whichever side that you didn't do. We're going to roll onto the left side of our body, drape the right knee, the right leg over it. And then we're going to start here with an open twist as well. So wherever or however tight your lower back may feel or your entire back, just let something meet your knees. And if that means a yoga block or one more pillow on top of your bolster or pillow, just let that happen. Otherwise, just let the leg hang, opening up the chest without overdoing anything. And just be fine with being here.
and gently roll all the way out to your left side. This time the arm closes in on top of the left. And make a decision if you want a pillow underneath your head or if you just want to make a pillow out of that left arm. What makes restorative yoga similar to other asana or physical practices is that we still make the breath this sort of compass or this leader of the practice, this voice, it's king. And it really does dictate your energy level. It really does dictate your state. What makes it different is that in a restorative yoga practice, we just allow the body in this restful place, to be in this restful place. So there is no forcing. There's not much effort. And there's definitely no struggle. Such is the case for all yoga practices anyway. Feel the head feel heavy. While on your left side, place the right palm on top of the bolster and then gently use it to push yourself up into a nice supported child's pose. So place your bolster right in front of you, could be between your knees or your legs. And to feel more supported, if you want to grab a block or anything at your disposal to place underneath the bums, or if you want to place another blanket right on top of the bolster, just so you get a little bit more of a thicker furniture. Separate your knees out. Your toes may be between the block, or your toes may be outside the block, rather. And you just kind of drape one side of your face down towards your furniture, making sure that your lower back feels supported, your fingers are not gripping anything. And the breath is effortless right here, as usual. And child's pose tends to be that pose. It brings a lot more quiet, promotes some tranquility in the mind. And so if you haven't had quite that happen yet, just See if you can make that happen right here in the child's pose, even if you have your forehead down, or like we're doing here where we're turning one cheek. And maybe slowly turning to the other cheek. Minding any un discomfort in the neck, perhaps. And just be gentler with it. Again, the option is to put your forehead down. If that feels a lot more comfortable in the neck, please honor that. Please do so.
and notice if the thoughts, those triggers, those sensors, or stressors rather, have slowly creeped to their way in. Just watch that. Look at it. Treat it like clouds and just let them disappear. Let them pass by. The priority for now is you and your inner peace. And we'll slowly turn our heads, get our palms down on either side of the bolster or your furniture and gently push yourselves up. If there are any movements that's calling out to you, perhaps some shoulder rolls, perhaps some neck rolls, just honor that. Still minding the breath, minding the softness of the breath. We're just gonna gently push our bolster away from us and then sit our right hip down by the edge of that bolster. Again, if you need any blocks, any more props, please do so. But you can stack your knees one on top of the other. You can kind of stagger your legs. But we're gonna drape our bodies on the bolster. We're gonna start with our side body first. So try to glaze the side, the right side of your body down. We're just gonna plant our right cheek down for now. And then notice once again if there's any over-efforting happening in the lower body, any gripping that's kind of being craved for by the fingers. If you desire to hold on to something, now's the perfect time to just say, I am just going to chill. I'm just going to let go. But you can stay right here. Or if the body allows, and if there's space in the back, you can again turn your forehead down towards your furniture. Or you can twist all the way to your left cheek, whichever feels comfortable to you. And again, the thing is that you, you feel supported, you feel secure. You feel safe. There's no tugging or pulling or over-efforting. Take a few more breaths here. Fingers still relaxed, your jaw still relaxed. And you rest your palms down on either side of your furniture to gently push yourselves up. And then you can either switch the props to the other side or you can pivot the body, whichever feels good to you. I am actually going to carry my props all the way to the other side, resting my left hip down towards the edge of the bolster, keeping my blanket so you make your decision. Again, the knees can be stacked or staggered, whichever one feels more comfortable to you. And again, just glaze the left side of the body on top of the bolster. Your left cheek can be down for now. Knowing full well that you can definitely alter that. You have options with the legs, 
options with the height of your props. Notice what conversations are coming up in your head, in your mind. Look at them, see them as clouds, and let's let them pass by. You can stay here if you want. This is comfortable. Or again, you can turn your forehead down, or you can turn your right cheek towards the bolster, and then plant your head down. The important thing is safety, security, support. And of course, there's bliss in the practice. Notice if the breath has gotten choppy with this deep twist. Just a few more breaths here. And gently turn the palms down. Turn your head towards your props and gently push yourselves up. Crossing at the shins. Let us conclude this practice with a little bit of movement. And so let's inhale our heart forward. And then exhale, slowly curl the spine. Sort of a seated cat cow. Inhale, reach the body forward. The heart lifts and the chin lifts. Exhale, round the spine and tuck the chin towards the chest. And one more time, just like that. Inhale. And then exhale. Beautiful. Slowly come in. Dropping your right ear towards your right shoulder. Dropping your left ear towards your left shoulder. Rotating the neck towards the right. And rotating the neck towards the left. Beautiful. Rubber palms together. And press the palms together, thumbs touching your chest, bowing your head towards your hands. I hope you guys felt restored. I hope you guys feel rejuvenated and ready to take on the world. I thank you so much for taking the time to take care of yourselves. I want to bow down, bow down to your practice and bow down to each and every one of you. Thank you for taking care of your bodies. I hope to see you in my other classes. Namaste from me to you. Thank you, and bye for now. <laughs>